Creek Town's GDC 2016 coverage is brought to you by NVIDIA. The Game Developers Conference this year has been filled with amazing VR experiences, but I think that the standout so far has been from Valve. Valve are completely iconic in this world right now. Half-Life, Team Fortress, Left 4 Dead, Counter-Strike, Steam, and of course the HTC Vive. The lab is their latest VR demo, and in the lab there are four different areas. Postcard, Slingshot, Zortex, and Longbow. The first one that we started with was Postcard, which is a world that you're plastered into, which is using super detailed rendering, photogrammetry, capturing a scene of the real world from a real world mountain called Vespa Park. You walked around on the mountain and you could use your controller to teleport around and get different viewpoints of the mountain. Once you got to different points of the mountain, you could grab a stick off the ground and throw it. There was a robo dog walking around. So as you would throw the stick, the dog would go and fetch it and it would bring it back. Every time you would do that, you'd use the spare time to teleport to other parts of the map and it looked truly amazing. The intuitive controls made it easy to navigate around the mountain which led to a more immersive experience in virtual reality. The second demo that we tried was Slingshot. In Slingshot, you're in this industrial building where you get to load up a bunch of spherical robots that talk to you, and then you have to pull them back and fling them into towers of boxes and towers of explosives. Obviously, if you hit an explosive, it blows up, and it causes all of the rest of the boxes to fall down. Once those boxes fall down, you get points. There wasn't much point to it. It was more of how to use the lighthouse controllers and how to notice distance and how to notice the angle that you're using. It was a really good way of using the controllers. Zortex was the third one. I think that Zortex was my favorite. In this one, you used your right lighthouse controller as a control for a mini spaceship that fits inside a sphere. The sphere was about six or seven foot deep and about six or seven foot high. So if you imagine that you're in a bowl or a sphere and you get to control a little ship and there are little enemies that appear out of nowhere and when they appear, you have to aim the controller at them at a certain angle and it uses a little attack on your ship and it blows them up. You have to keep dodging their balls that are flying at you. And then as you kill one round of the bad guys, second round of bad guys come with more advanced weapons, but then you can get pickups and you can navigate your controller to get those pickups. And once you've got the pickups, you've got new weapons and so on and so forth. It was one of the best experiences I've had in VR. It doesn't sound like much, but it gave me the most persistence in there. I loved being in that world. It felt like I was a kid and I was playing an older kind of game from the 80s and 90s, but in virtual reality, in something completely new that I've never played before. And that was what did it for me. It was one of the best experiences of using the 3D space around me and actually having to dodge around and bob down and dodge over a laser and to the side of a laser and under three or four balls that are flying at the same time. You could look at more than one thing because you could have your ship in one spot with your right hand on on one side, then you could be looking at another spot. The last demo that we played was Longbow. Longbow was a tower defense game where you were equipped with a bow and arrow. You had to use the bow and arrow to fire at little paper men that were walking around with shields and helmets, and you would pull your uh, arrow with your right hand and you would feel it vibrating in your hands because of the haptic feedback on the lighthouse controllers. It was a layer of immersion that again, I keep saying that it's a new layer of immersion for a game, but it just, Valve keep impressing with everything that they release and every demo that you play gives you this new level of immersion that you think that you haven't experienced before. So with Longbow, the bow and arrow really felt like you were in the game because you've got two hands using an object in a game where just like in real life, you'd need two hands to control that. So you'd shoot the paper enemies as they were heading towards the door, as you would in a normal tower defense game, but you could do trick shots because they had shields and helmets. So if you hit the shield, obviously it wouldn't hurt them. If you hit their arm, it would kill them. If you hit their helmet, the helmet would pop off, which was really cool, another layer of awesomeness. And if you hit them, in, obviously in the bottom of the head, in their chin, it would kill them. So you had to, you had to think before you did anything. Overall, I really loved Valve's The Lab. I thought that it was probably the best package of VR, and I feel that that's their entry. That's their beginning of VR. When you use a HTC Vive, 
you're going to be able to download and play the lab, which is free. And you're going to be able to jump into that first and get to know how to use the controller and get to know how the vibe feels on your head and how you can look around. It's the best experience that I've had in a package of four games. I really think that the vibe and the lab is going to be a great partnership between Valve and HTC. And just that experience alone is something that you need to play in order to understand. It really was really, really fun, and it makes me excited to see what a full VR game from Valve will be like.